Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Nature is what it is. We have to fit into it. It's not easy because the mind is always trying to analyze, to label, and nature is not part of that game. So, we are in the process of making more swells. This is an ongoing project. Some person postulated the theory that every regenerative, regenerative project starts with water, water management. Unfortunately, that's true. It's uh, difficult. This is the pond site. I should get in here sometime, but uh, it was difficult just to get out. I was slipping and sliding. I had to make my way over here. Anyway, this swale was made yesterday. I still have to flatten it. The farmer's wife is not here to do it. So I will have to do it. Very clay soil. This one I have done today. It was tricky because I had some boulders in my way. I had to get rid of these. Fortunately, the stone broke in two with a horizontal cut. So that was much easier than to slide the one over the other and then move it here. The community had a comment about Sistus and their relationship with this Anthena, the holm oak. That uh, made me think and it opened my eyes to something unique. Here we have the Asabuche, the wild olive, and then two smaller Anthenas. But when I go in here, it's rare to find an anthena. Here is one. So the realization was that this Cystus brush, they have a vested interest for this anthenas not to grow. Should this be covered, they will have no sunlight and they will die out. So I'm taking a shortcut through this cystus and there is not a single anthena in this area, although there are many acorns. So this cystus is in war with the new acorns. 
the cystus either they suffocate the new anthena the acorn to germinate cut out the light completely or they have a chemical warfare uh, hormonal that neutralizes the growth hormone in this acorn and in such a way prevent it from germination. So this whole area, this is Asabuche, here is one anthena, but it's without any home oaks. So I pride myself that I am setting some land aside for conservation. But what am I doing? Am I conserving this cystus? They don't need much help because they can actually even asexually reproduce seeds. And uh, they're doing a fine job. They're, they are not threatened by anything. But the Anthena is threatened. So what shall I do? <coughs> shall I remove some more of the Sistus brush? Plant some more of the homogs? Tough questions. Till next time. Goodbye.